Good morning. Welcome to the special live streamed event to celebrate a generous gift from RBC to the campaign for Concordia, Next Gen Now. My name is Nadia Bouyan, and I'm delighted to be your MC. I also have the pleasure of serving as Concordia's Vice Provost of Partnerships and Experiential Learning, and I'm also a professor in the Department of Mechanical, Industrial, and Aerospace Engineering at our Gina Cody School of Engineering and Computer Science. Je suis également une fière diplômée de Concordia. Alors que la plupart d'entre vous sont à la maison, nous sommes réunis ici sur le magnifique campus Sir George Williams de Concordia. It's customary to begin our events with the territorial acknowledgement. This has taken on added significance as we grow to understand the painful history of Indigenous peoples in Canada. Nous reconnaissons qu'il reste des progrès à accomplir. I encourage you to follow the developments of Concordia's Indigenous Directions Action Plan, updated this past June and created in part to respond to the calls to action of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. With this in mind, we acknowledge that Concordia's campuses are located on unceded Indigenous lands. The Ganeot Gehaga Nation is recognized as a custodian of the lands and waters on which we gather today. Jotjage, or Montreal, is historically known as a gathering place for many First Nations. Aujourd'hui, la ville accueille une population diversifiée d'Autochtones et de personnes d'autres origines. We respect the continued connections with the past, present, and future in our ongoing relationships with Indigenous and other peoples within the Montreal community. Today, we have a superb event planned for you. While it would be wonderful to gather in person, we're thankful that so many of you have joined us online. Nous avons le plaisir d'être accompagnés par plusieurs partenaires et bienfaiteurs clés de Concordia. Today, we celebrate philanthropy a visionary gift from RBC to the Campaign for Concordia Next Gen Now. This gift will benefit two groups who enrich our community. Students who qualify for our Beat the Odds program and students enrolled at our Institute for Cooperative Education. As you'll soon hear, RBC's support will uplift underserved cohorts of students and provide transformative opportunities for our co-op interns. En raison des protocoles liés à la COVID-19, l'événement d'aujourd'hui sera constitué à la fois de discours en direct et préenregistrés. Commençons par un message du recteur de Concordia, Graham Carr. Please welcome our president, live and socially distant. Over to you, Graham. Merci, Nadia. Bienvenue à toutes et à tous, que vous soyez ici en personne ou que vous nous regardez en ligne. Work integrated learning programs provide students with skills and experience that help them succeed through one of the most stressful periods any of us faces in our lives, going from being a student to the world of work. La RBC est un leader en matière de promotion des occasions d'apprentissage expérientiel, tout comme l'Université Concordia. Nous savons que ces occasions favorisent la réussite professionnelle des étudiantes et étudiants après l'obtention de leur diplôme. C'est pourquoi Concordia en a fait une priorité. Our goal is that by 2025, every student, undergraduate or graduate, regardless of program, will have at least one experiential learning opportunity before they graduate, whether that's study abroad, co-op, or some other kind of internship. I believe Concordia will be the first university in Canada to make such a commitment, and with the programs we have in place across all our faculties and through the School of Graduate Studies, we're well on our way to reaching that goal. Today, I'm pleased to announce the RBC Foundation has partnered with Concordia to directly support our students and further this strategic goal. The RBC Foundation's gift is for $1 million. Please join me in thanking you. Nadine, nous sommes des plus reconnaissants de cet important soutien financier gage de la confiance qui inspire à la Fondation la gérance assurée par Concordia. 
Cette entente est d'autant plus réjouissante qu'elle rapproche encore davantage nos deux établissements à titre d'innovateurs dans le paysage de l'apprentissage expérientiel. That's because this gift specifically aims to support two groups of students who have found the transition to employment especially challenging. Specifically, this gift will support both talented students from historically underserved groups and impressive graduates looking for employment in key sectors of our economy where underfunding is chronic. First, the Beat the Odds program. Whether it's because they come from marginalized communities or have had to deal with other obstacles, such as gender bias or the pressure to work to support themselves financially, we know that many Concordia students experience dips in their academic standing. And more often than not, those dips are not reflective of their abilities, but of the challenge of coping with pressures beyond their control. Unfortunately, until now, those performance dips also meant that these students didn't qualify for co-op or other experiential learning programs. Beat the Odds is designed to address this problem by ensuring that students get the opportunity of paid, hands-on internships that provide valuable experience related to their program of study. Nous avons conçu le programme Réussir malgré tout parce que parmi les universités canadiennes, Concordia affiche l'une des pourcentages les plus élevés d'étudiants qui travaillent à temps partiel ou à temps plein pour subvenir leurs besoins. Nous avons également un grand nombre d'étudiants qui ont des personnes à charge, que ce soit des enfants ou un membre de la famille qui est âgé ou malade. Par ailleurs, nous avons une forte proportion d'étudiants universitaires de première génération, dont la plus importante communauté d'étudiants octotones parmi les universités montréalaises. Beat the Odds is designed to level the playing field for these students. With the support of the RBC Foundation, we can match deserving candidates who stand to gain the most with internships at companies and organizations that can host them. And in the pilot programs we've run so far, it's also clear that recipients of these awards substantially improve their academic performance, raise their GPA, and go on to graduate. If one of the missions of a university is to train citizens to make a meaningful contribution to society, then Beat the Odds is quite simply a next-gen program. Secondly, we also know from experience that nonprofit organizations can benefit greatly from student interns. A student will often bring a valuable skill set, whether it's the latest knowledge or techniques they've learned in their coursework and research projects, savvy social media networking, or some other next gen skill. But many small organizations simply can't afford to pay our talented students for internships, which means critically that many of our students can't afford to pursue a job at an organization that does the kind of community building work they're passionate about. Now, thanks to the RBC Foundation's help, more of our students will get a chance to work with such organizations. Je tiens à remercier la Fondation RBC de sa générosité. Elle défend une vision qui cadre avec celle de Concordia, ouvrée sans relâche à élargir l'accès aux occasions. Cet important don du million de dollars porte la somme accordée à Concordia par la Fondation RBC à plus de 2,5 millions de dollars et si long tient compte de l'apport direct de la RBC à plus de 3,7 millions. Cet appui nous comble de gratitude. Il donne un coup de pouce bien concret à nos étudiantes et étudiants et profite à l'ensemble de la société. J'aimerais maintenant céder la parole à Nadine Renaud-Tinker, présidente du siège social de la RBC au Québec. Nadine. 
Oh, merci, Graham. Thank you so much for, for the warm introduction. It's, it's such a, a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, and obviously, I wished I could, I, I could be in person. That would be even better, but it just didn't work out uh, with today's agenda. So I'm, I'm just still really, really happy to be with you today. So again, thank you uh, for all your great words. And it's such a, a pleasure to partner with you and, and the Concordia team. Um, so I'd like to start by saying, you know, first, you know, for, for our, our, our people in the room and, and to the student body, it's a good, good morning as well to RBC alumni at Concordia. Uh, we have a, f a few fellow speakers as well that you know, uh, and to our Concordia executives, again, thank you all of you and to our students for, for having me today. Um, I'm so pleased to be able to, the, the day has come after we've worked on this project uh, together uh, for a year now, I think, uh, Graham, uh, going my memory. And such, you mentioned the words, you know, such an opportunity and an impactful body of work that's going to have such an impact for our students, for the future of work, and, and of course, for Concordia's uh, differentiator as well. So again, congratulations. And the other thing that really differentiates for us in this particular program is, as with all of you, we, we celebrate like really an important step, right, in, in our ambitious support, like to, to support youth and to prepare youth for the future of work in our country uh, and in the world, really, for, for people that study at, at, at school. So it's very, very exciting. Um, donc, Université Concordia et RDC ont développé au fil des années une relation fondée sur la conviction que les jeunes d'aujourd'hui sont les leaders de demain. Um, you know, this is Concordia's motto, and, and we know it, you all know it. You develop over the years a, a solid conviction and a, and a deep culture of innovation, developing the thinkers of tomorrow, uh, and, and providing support learning to all equally. And that's one of the reasons we, 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 we identify and, and, and are so proud to be able to partner with Concordia on this. Et puis, c'est en offrant aux étudiants des chances égales, d'apprendre, d'acquérir des compétences et pratiques que nous devons continuer à, à, à vraiment créer le futur et avoir des réussites comme Graham le mentionnait tout à l'heure. Plusieurs de nos employés d'ailleurs à RBC ont obtenu leur propre diplôme euh, au niveau de Concordia et euh, certains d'entre vous le savent en tant que championne euh, de classe du MBA exécutif pour 2020-2022, je suis encore plus personnellement dévouée au succès du Concordia. Euh, C'est un mandat qui me qui me donne beaucoup de joie, mais aussi beaucoup de fierté, et j'apprends beaucoup à travers les discussions que j'ai à travers nos étudiants à MBA, euh, qu'on peut, qu peut mentorer ensemble. Alors, énormément de succès de ce côté-là. So, with diversity also being one of RBC's core values, we know, and we know, well, there's always work to be done. There's always work to be done, whoever we are, whichever organization or university we're in. But at the same time, it, it does start with us and every one of us in the room. So, while we know we are leaders in our industry when it comes to diversity and inclusion, and while we know that Concordia has made tremendous, tremendous impact as well uh, in diversity and inclusion and being open and kind and fair to all societies, we know their work needs to continue mm -hmm. and needs to, to differentiate every single day, evolve and change continually. So for us, DNI is really a foundation reality of our, of our society too, right? So Today's announcement is, is, is makes it more relevant and important and impactful and meaningful, Graham, to, to everything that than we do than more than ever before. In fact, some of our conversations with the MBA students um, this year have been around the importance of leading by example and really creating that world of change that we need to build on together. So, on behalf of the RBC Foundation, it's my great, great pleasure to, to announce with Concordia, with Graham and, and, and your team there, this $1 million gift to Concordia uh, Next Gen Now. It's a program that's going to fund Concordia's work on integrated learning initiatives through the support of two learning internships geared towards students encountering barriers to employment, marginalized societies, and, and just really create an environment that's equal to all in learning. Um, you mentioned it, but I'll mention again, students from groups such as BIPOC or BIPOC communities are two LGBTQ plus low income students, student parents, which you mentioned as well, refugees and, and students with disabilities. So, ce don là va nous permettre vraiment de repousser les limites et d'offrir aux étudiants euh, des opportunités qui sont peut-être plus difficiles pour d'autres. 
des opportunités d'apprentissage de, supplémentaires pour assurer une réussite professionnelle et encore une fois pour bâtir le futur du travail. Alors, c'est avec beaucoup de fierté que RBC s'associe encore une fois à Concordia, une université pour nous là, de premier plan, grâce à ce programme unique et, et vraiment créatif et innovateur, continuera de laisser sa marque dans nos communautés pour des années à venir. Alors, j'ai bien hâte de voir l'impact de ce don. Toute mon équipe a hâte de voir ça. Il donne vie à nos valeurs de diversité et inclusion qui sont vraiment intégrées à l'intérieur de nous également. Et je suis convaincue qu'il mènera une société plus riche et plus prospère pour nous tous. Alors, merci à tous d'être là aujourd'hui et merci encore pour tout ce que vous faites pour créer le monde de demain. Thank you again and I'm wishing all of our students much success in our partnership and, and this unique program and internship. I'm really, really proud of what we're accomplishing and what will be accomplished with this for years to come. So thank you, Graham, and thank you to all of you. And I believe I'm passing uh, the next word to our MC, Nadia. Thanks, everyone. Merci. Thank you so much, Nadine, and to RBC for your generous support. Here's a fun fact about our donor. More than 600 RBC employees are Concordia graduates. Notre prochain intervenant, Claude Martel, dont le témoignage est préenregistré, occupe le poste de directeur de l'Institut d'enseignement coopératif de Concordia depuis 2017. Now in its 40th year, Co-op organizes valuable work term placements for thousands of Concordia students every year. Thanks to RBC, many of these students will now have the opportunity to acquire new skills at nonprofit organizations. For more, let's hear from our co-op director and from two standout co-op students as well. Can we please roll the tape? The Institute of Cooperative Education is immensely grateful to RBC for investing in our non-profit sector internship program. Don for profit has always been a big part of my life. It's more than just, you know, getting a paycheck. You actually see the difference you're making in a community. I want to get more job experience so that when I graduate, I can really better help with my family business. Cette initiative ouvre les portes aux étudiants et étudiantes dans un large éventail d'organisations tout en soutenant l'apprentissage par l'expérience. The end cop, um it's actually one of the main reasons I came to Concordia University. I liked that I was able to use what I was learning into the classroom and use it in a real world. L'expérience dans le secteur non lucratif formera nos étudiants et étudiantes à relever des défis et à contribuer à faire des travaux importants dans notre société. So basically my major is marketing. So I got more chance to apply the knowledge and skill that I learned from school. I also learned video editing and Photoshop outside of school, and I also got the chance to apply the knowledge I learned at Terra Fox Foundation. Whether in arts, culture, health, or community activism, these experiences will prepare the next generation for rewarding careers after their university. Well, I actually had a really unique opportunity. As Terry Fox, I was able to help create a market plan for him to merge from uh, just being a nonprofit in Canada to really merge more into the US. RBC est un partenaire de longue date de la coop, ayant embauché pas moins de 29 étudiants depuis l'automne 2019. I learned a lot and I also helped the, them to connect with one of the hospitals to do the donations. That's a really great experience. As co-op is celebrating four decades of bridging university and the working world, my heartfelt thanks to RBC. Merci. Thank you. Merci Claude pour ces remarques et pour vos efforts au nom de nos étudiants du programme Co-op. Vous allez maintenant entendre trois personnes qui ont participé activement au programme Réussir malgré tout, maintenant élargi grâce au soutien de la RBC. Beat the Odds is a program that's near to my heart. The program's pilot launch at Concordia in the summer of 2020 stem from an article I, I read about a university in Texas where students faced with challenges were offered support, including paid internships. And this support transformed their academic journey. Alice Isaac, our lead in experiential learning, tailored this fantastic program to pay special attention to the needs of our students at Concordia, from the start of their internship to its completion. 
réussir malgré tout contribue à surmonter les obstacles systémiques à l'emploi et à l'avancement professionnel. To tell you more about how the program is making a difference, let's hear from two of our students and one of our internship providers. Roll the tape, please. They welcomed me, they put me on the roster, and eventually they matched me with an awesome internship that I enjoyed a lot. I was placed with a not-for-profit, independent thought, radical publisher called Black Rose Books. I, now I know how a book goes to be published from start to finish. I had a great internship experience with CUSP. So our mission at CUSP is to help student parents to help their academic goals while they are balancing their family responsibilities. For this reason, we have a homework club and French reading circle for the kids of student parents. Presently, we are recruiting volunteer students from Quebec universities and colleges to help with the homework of student parents' children. Uh, the internship helped me a lot, uh, knowing that I am very into like political and community organizing. This is what they're uh, centered around. This internship helped me to improve my teamwork, professionalism, collaboration and communication skills. It gave me more confidence for my next step in my career path. So I'm working right now on applying to law school. Uh, the internship helped me a lot and the aims of becoming a, a change maker one day. I'm truly grateful for the experience with Beat the Odds. Thank you to our Beat the Odds participants for their testimonials. Sevda and Fawaz, best of luck in your studies and beyond. Un autre membre de l'équipe de direction de notre université va maintenant dire quelques mots pour conclure notre événement. À titre de vice-recteur à l'avancement universitaire, Paul Chesser, deux fois diplômé de Concordia, supervise la campagne pour Concordia. Let's hear from him now. Paul? Merci, Nadia. The Campaign for Concordia, Next Gen Now, is our university's largest and most successful fundraising effort to date. Notre objectif de 300 millions de dollars vise notamment à offrir aux étudiantes et étudiants un soutien essentiel à l'intérieur comme à l'extérieur de la classe. RBC's donation to Concordia advances our commitment to lead in off-campus learning. L'appui fourni au programme Réussir malgré tout assisterait les étudiantes et étudiants qui, est, qui, est en, qui ont le plus besoin. What's more, funding for not-profit internships will broaden our co-op's impact and strengthen ties between Concordia and the not-for-profit community. With its $1 million gift, RBC is promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion, and encouraging Concordia students who want to contribute to grassroots organizations. Ainsi, ce don aura des retombées considérables. On behalf of our students and our worldwide network of alumni, thank you to RBC for investing in our institution's priorities. We take great pride in this generous gift that will help us lead as Canada's next generation university. Merci. Thank you so much, Paul. This concludes our celebration of RBC's gift to the campaign for Concordia. On behalf of our entire university community, students, staff, faculty, alumni, and supporters, thank you so much to our donor, RBC, for supporting next generation teaching and learning. Ce fut un privilège d'agir à titre de maîtresse de cérémonie. Merci à notre public virtuel pour sa présence. Have a wonderful day. Thank you et merci.